Hi, today we're going to make potato and tahini casserole. This dish is easy to assemble, easy to make, and it's vegan and gluten-free, but tastes very good. The trick is how to combine different flavors to make a nice dish. And this dish, you can eat it hot, cold, room temperature, and you can make it, you can make the potatoes and the sauce two days ahead of time and just finish it before you serve. So basically I took about uh, six potatoes, I cut them into one inch cubes, I added some um, two tablespoons of olive oil, one glove of garlic and about a teaspoon of paprika, mix them all together and I put it in the oven 300 degrees for uh, 20 minutes just to be cooked, not overcooked, just cooked, take it out of the oven. So now you have your potatoes ready. We need to make the sauce. The sauce, I hope you like garlic like me. You can, you can skip garlic, but I think garlic adds wonderful flavor for this sauce. So we have garlic. Lemon. Three rolls of garlic. About a half a cup of lemon. One, half to one cup. Half a cup of tahini. A little bit of salt, cumin, one teaspoon of cumin, and about a quarter of a spoon of fresh ground ginger. Mix it until you have a nice smooth. Okay, this one is very, it's kind of thick for the dish I want to have. So what you need, I need to add about, I would say about a cup of water to it. Because I need the sauce to be running for the potatoes. Because I'm going to cook it on the stove. So this is kind of texture I like. And at this stage, you add capers, a quarter of a cup of capers, and one cup of chopped, roasted, sweet red bell pepper. Now we need to cook it on the stove, just to boil. So you cook the sauce until it just start to boil, so it will be a thick sauce, not, not very runny, but also not very thick, just a nice texture, thick textures. And so it has the pepper, it has the caper, and the all the, the garlic, the cumin, and then just pour it over the potatoes. As you see, it's already looking nice. And then, I love ginger, so I sprinkle, I dust fresh ginger over it again. And for me, anything that has lemon in it, it kind of takes ginger right away. They, for me, the lemon and ginger goes along together. And then, just for decoration, this you don't have to do that at all. Scallion, and some of the red roasted red bell pepper. Now tell me, this is not a very nice dish. Vegan, uh, gluten free, tastes good, very inexpensive and delicious. You can't go wrong with that. Bon appetit.